What's going on YouTube? So they're going to be checking out three different accessories that Wasserstein has for the Wise Cam Outdoor. So in order here, we have the weather resistant outdoor charging cable with the charging brick. We have the floodlight with the charger. So this camera mounts to the floodlight here and plugs into it. And then we also have their solar panel, which you plug the camera into the solar panel and the sun will charge the solar panel and the solar panel charges the camera. These three accessories will help get you the most out of your Wise Cam Outdoor. Uh, we all know that these are the battery operated cameras only so these don't require any cabling or anything like that um, if you want to plug it in and keep it powered at all times they give you these three different options uh, third-party options that you can purchase if you're looking at purchasing these or checking out the pricing the charging cable for the outdoor is about 16 bucks the floodlight with charger is I think it's like $59.99 and then the solar panel is $36.99. I will link these in the description below so you can check them out yourself and current pricing. The Wise Cam Outdoor runs about $49.99 with the, the hub that it comes with, but then you can add on cameras as they go for $39.99. So they're relatively cheap or inexpensive at least. Now I did review the outdoor cam or the Wise Cam Outdoor battery powered camera in a different video and I will link that up here so you can check it out yourself. Um, but that's not part of this video. All it is is the accessories from third party Wasserstein for the Wise Cam Outdoor for this video. Now, we will be going through each box here, each item here, and checking out what you get in the box and kind of checking the product out itself and kind of showing the quality of what it looks like and what it is. And that way you can see for yourself before you decide if you want to purchase or not. So let's go ahead and get into that. So here we have that charging cable with the charging brick. You got the 25 foot charging cable. And then this goes on the back side of the camera with the micro USB right there. And that'll just replace that little leather proofing. Then you have the charging brick here. So you can plug this into the wall and then plug it into the USB here. And that's all you get for this. That's all you need. So now we have the solar panel here. So this is eco-friendly. It does uh, rotate 360 degrees uh, on the bracket. Quick and easy installation and weather resistant, which is really nice. On the back, that shows that you have a 13.1 foot cable, a weatherproof charging port like we saw on the previous one. And you get the screws for the mounting and everything like that goes with this. One thing I do know that on this, they recommend you actually get this outside and have it collect sun and charge the solar panel first all the way up until you can actually use it for your camera. Uh, that way you don't hook your camera up to it almost dead or close to being dead and expect this to actually charge your camera from the get-go. I do recommend having the camera fully charged as well as getting this outside for a day or two in the sun uh, before you go about getting this all set ready to go so here you get a manual and books we have very difficult to get out but here's the solar panel it's not too big it's about the size of a little bit bigger than two hands together or two of my hands together it's got the wasserstein w here white in color with the black solar panel then you have the 13.1 inch cable here already attached and then here's that plug again looks like they're gonna use the same plug for everything and then the mount for the mount they give you three drywall anchors and three screws if you need them and here's the mount that you'll screw the two screws here looks like they give you three that way if you screw one up or screw one up that way if you screw one up or strip it or anything like that you have a spare one but in all reality any screw that will fit through there about the same length I mean, heck, it'd probably take even a shorter one. It should be pretty stable. And then it has a adjustable screw here. You loosen that up and you can adjust this. So here's the mount for the solar panel. And then it looks like it has a little clip at the very end that'll clip right down there. And you just take it down with the arrow and it'll mount onto the solar panel. I prefer you mount this first to something like a wall or... I mounted one on my deck because it was easier that way. Um, but you'll mount it and then you mount this where you want it. And then you mount this, the camera. Uh, 
I do recommend probably find where you're going to mount the camera so you know where you're going to be able to put this because the limitation of where this goes is where you want the camera and about 13 feet. But this is pretty good quality, uh, pretty du uh, durable. They do have some screw holes here to hold it all together. All in all, going to charge your camera and keep it charged. And now we have the floodlight with the charger. I almost want to say floodlight with the camera charger, but floodlight with the camera. Oh, there, I did it again. It's floodlight with the charger. Uh, this one shows it's black. I wonder if it's white because this showed it was black, but it was white. We'll check it out here. So you can see here there's a bunch of little LEDs for each light. It looks like you can, uh, it's got about 120 degree viewing angle or sensor angle. And the thresholds for the sensor are 13 to 333, 13 to 33 feet. The max LED light intensity is 2000 lumens and color temperature is between 55,000 or 5,500 and 6,500. And then this powers by AC 120 volts. So this powers off of what you would power an outside light with. So this is going to be able to wire right into your house, uh, 120 volt, um, AC adapter or not AC adapter, but AC power. And this is all that it comes with. And we're going to go ahead and check that out here now. So here's all that it comes with. You got the camera here and it does have a motion sensor on it. Kind of how we discussed it on the box here. You got the led lights here, the two adjustable brackets here. You got the camera mount, which is adjustable. You have the instructions here on how to hook it up and it shows black here, but it actually is white. White's actually something I probably would rather have in my house rather than black. Um, doesn't stick out as bad, but if you need instructions on hooking it up, here you go. Here's a little pad that you can put between the, the mount and the house. That way it doesn't chew up your paint on the house. If you ever take it down. And then on the, you got the adjustments here for the LED cameras. Adjustment right there. And then it looks like this mount can go up and down just a little bit. Here's the USB power plug for the waterproofing for the camera. And on the back side here is your wiring. So you have the live wire here. You got the neutral and you have the ground. So you'll just find and find the wires that you have on the coming out of your house and line them up with black on black, white on white. And then this, the ground will not be a green wire most likely, but it'll probably be just a solid copper wire. Here's the USB power cable. Again, the weatherproofing for the micro USB on the camera. And then here's the mount that that screw mounts into, and then it mounts the base of the camera into. And then here is all the mounting hardware for the camera, well, not the camera, but the, the light. So it comes with standard hardware here for any light. If you ever installed a light on your house or inside your house, but it should be a round area with two screw holes. Sometimes it's three, so that way you can get a little adjustment here. But they have slots here. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. Slots there, so you can make an adjustment. You have the mounting screws here. And then you it looks, this might be, not sure what this screw does, but it looks like it's got, it's threaded in there. So maybe it helps with alignment. Oh, looks like in the middle here, it'll mount. Oh, I'm sorry. It mounts this camera through the middle there to this post right here. So once you get this mount on there, you'll slide this on to the mount. And then that middle bolt goes right through there and threads and holds that on. And then this plug right here will go and plug that hole. They give you three wire nuts. So that way you can uh, tie off your wires which usually you'll have wire nuts as it is when you pull off your other light, but I always like reu are not reusing what came off if it's electrical. So you got new ones here and then you got the ground screw here. So if there is no ground that's in your light, you can always ground that light to this, uh, that screw. But if there is a ground wire, I would ground the camera, the ground wire from here to the ground wire in your house, out of your house versus here. 
Now I will say I'm pretty confident in wiring most things up in my house. Um, I actually just replaced an inside light and it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Um, but if you are uncomfortable doing that, uh, I don't have a YouTube video on how to replace a lamp or a light. Um, but I'm sure if you search for one, you can find one that can kind of show you step by step how to do it. If you're not comfortable with doing it, I highly recommend not doing it yourself. Hire someone, get a friend that that's going to help you. It shouldn't cost you too much to have someone wire this for you. I um, mean, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, easy for anybody that's done electrical work. Uh, they'll be able to do it pretty quick and easy and get you taken care of. I wanted to see how easy it was to adjust these and screw these in. And it's actually pretty nice and solid here. So that's really nice. This whole mount here is plastic, which it's actually pretty nice plastic, uh, high quality there. And then these are kind of pop metal, the actual lights. And I'm pretty sure that's because of the, maybe there's a little heat with the LEDs here that it might cause. So that way it doesn't burn the plastic. But other than that, most of this is pretty well made. Uh, there is a, uh, not a rubber seal here, but there is a uh, foam pad here to kind of help you get that tight. But this is pretty good quality. So if you're looking for a camera, security camera for your house, and you have a light area for it, and you want to upgrade your light, this would be the go-to for you. Obviously, if you're especially using the Wise Camera Outdoor. So in a nutshell, that's uh, three of Wasserstein's accessories for the Wise Outdoor Cam. You got the solar panel, the light, and then they're just hook it up to power. Uh, I will say that your probably best bet, if you already have one of these and you just want to wire it up to power, and you don't want to get a light, get their, their power wire. It's pr pretty cheap for that. Um, but I will say your probably best bet is get their Wise 3 camera. Uh, it's 20 bucks versus 50 bucks. And it's and if you're going to wire it, hardwire it anyways, might as well just go with that. Um, but, you know, not everybody wants that. Uh, and this does, the Wise, car, the Wise Cam Outdoor or Wise Outdoor Cam, does have different capabilities that the Wise 3 doesn't. This one has the hub, the Wise 3 does not. So, if you end up going with this and need to plug it in at all times, Wasserstein gives you that option. If you have any questions, comments, or opinions about any of the products here, go ahead and hit me up in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Again, I'm gonna link all the products in the description below so you can check them out in the current pricing. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out in some way, hit the like button. If this is your first time in my channel, please consider subscribing, and I will see you next time.